Hey there guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so in this video we're doing another speed test. And this speed test is between the iPhone X and the iPhone XR. Uh, these are both running iOS 13.2 uh, developer beta 1. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it here. So I haven't really messed around with beta 2, or I'm sorry, 13.2, uh, but um, as you can see, the iPhone 10 started up faster, iPhone 10 R here, but I do believe the 13.2 includes the deep fusion uh, technology for the uh, newer iPhones with their cameras. So not sure of any other changes there. All right, so we're at the home screen here. Let's go ahead and uh, get into the speed test here. So we'll start with FaceTime, three, two, one. Uh, calendar three two one All right, photos three two one oh, All right <laughs> We'll go ahead and take a photo here and we'll do a share sheet from there. Photo, or, uh, camera, three, two, one. 10 are just a hair faster. Let's take a picture so we can do the share sheet here. Yeah, not too bad. All right, and mail, three, two, one. Clock, three, two, one. Maps, three, two, one. All right, we'll do our flyover test here with San Francisco. It appears the 10R has already gotten all the graphical detail. The 10 is catching up here. Well, it looks like it's not quite catching up there. Can't even see the bridge yet. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so it's caught up, and they're actually just in line with each other. All right. A little missing piece here on the 10R but both do a pretty good job there. So we'll say that was pretty good. All right, and let's go ahead and do our look around test. All right, works good. All right, uh, weather, three, two, one. 10R appeared to have it a little bit faster there. Reminders, three, two, one. Yeah, about the same. All right, notes, three, two, one. All right, about the same there. Stocks, three, two, one. News, three, two, one. All right, books, three, two, one. All right, App Store, three, two, one. All right, podcasts, three, two, one. App 
Apple TV app, three, two, one. Much faster on the iPhone 10, that's kind of interesting. All right, health app, three, two, one. The home app, three, two, one. Wallet, three, two, one. Settings, three, two, one. And just to show you the version that we're on, which I should have done in the beginning, but that's all right. There you go, 13.2, 13.2. There's the build number for both. And we get the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10 R. All right, phone app. All right, Safari, three, two, one. It's interesting that the iPhone 10 started the animation for the page first. All right, let's go ahead and do CNN. Well, I thought I had tapped it there. All right, let's try ESPN. Here's the 10 beat it there. It's kind of interesting. Uh, messages, three, two, one. Let's try a new message here. Okay, not too bad. Music app, three, two, one. All right, looks like the 10R got that. Files app, three, two, one. All right, find my, three, two, one. All right, shortcuts, three, two, one. All right, iTunes, three, two, one. Movies a tab, oops. All right, and let's go ahead and go to a movie here. We have a new student with us. She just moved here from Africa. Welcome. I'm from Michigan. Great. I'm 16. All right, tips, three, two, one. All right, contacts, three, two, one. Watch app, three, two, one. All right, folder. Okay, control center. And 3D touch is definitely faster. Notification center. Well, if I can get it to come down, Let's try it again. All right. All right, and uh, there you have it. So this has just been a quick test of the iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 10R, both of them running iOS 13.2, developer beta one. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please click like, and if you uh, want to see more like this, uh, please subscribe. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.